Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 29th, 2024, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Renewal. The scripture is from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 8 through 12. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance, and he set out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he stayed for a time in the land he had been promised, as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, with Sarah's involvement, he received power of procreation, even though he was too old, because he considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one person, one person, and this one as good as that, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven, and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. Amen. Amen. Today's story is from Brenda, who lives in Virginia. In late December, while I was walking our dog, I noticed the trees had lost their leaves and looked dead. I felt like those trees because I could not, could see no evidence in my life of answered prayers. Later on, at the end of March, I observed the trees again. This time I noticed tiny buds poking out at the tip of the limbs. By the, by the end of May, the trees were covered with green leaves, ready to shade us from the summer sun. When we don't see evidence of God at work in our lives, we may begin to doubt God and to think nothing will ever change. In Genesis, God tells Abraham at least four times that he would give him a Sarah, a son. Years go by, but the child hasn't come. The last, the last time God promises Abraham and Sarah a son, Sarah laughs because of the impossibility of the idea, especially at their ages. Despite their lack of faith, God reassures them is anything too hard for the Lord? Sure enough, at God's appointed time, Sarah gave birth to Isaac, and they got to witness God's turning an impossibility into a reality. Those barren trees reassured me that God can bring renewal to what may be may seem dead. If God takes care of the trees, surely God will take care of our concerns as well. Amen. Have you ever prayed for or pray God for something for a long time? I had. When I wanted to know what was God's will in my life, especially for my ministry and as a being a pastor. I ask God, God for God's directions for that. It takes not just one or two hours or one or two days. It took years and years, almost five, uh, five years actually. When we are in trouble and we seems, I mean, it seems there is no help from anyone, even God, without God's love, 
without God's work, without God's power. We would like to uh, judge the situation with our signs. Whatever we see, that would be the uh, standard and that would be the uh, things that we can uh, think from. However, as we see the Abraham's story and uh, Brenda shared, God works every time in God's time, in God's ways. Rather than think that God does not help me in this case, let us think and let us believe that God is working on it for us and will give us the best in God's time, in God's ways. Rather doubting God's power, let us trust God and God's power and God's love for us. Like the tree seemed that had life and give out leaves from its limbs branches. Sometimes our lives would be like the tree seemed dead. However, God always within us. God is in us and God work for us so that we have life in us in our being, in our lives, all the time. Don't, dis don't, be dis don't be disappointed because of what we see. Let us have God's confidence and peace by faith. The faith is God's uh, for God's the faith is God's love for us, God's care for us, and God's provision for us. God is always with us and cares for us. Even we cannot see God's work with our sights, with our eyes, still God is working. On our matters, God is working for us, sometimes behind scenes. So let us trust God and let us follow God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your promise that if we wait on you, you won't be, we won't be disappointed. Lord, Give us faith and let us keep the faith and let us trust in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Bye-bye.